how to set and achieve daily goals for miraculous business growth. Today, I'm giving you a sneak peek into the process that I use to set meaningful business goals on a daily basis. Today, you will discover how to set goals on a daily basis that focus on big business growth, and you will discover the tools that I personally use to set goals daily. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. And I have created a podcast and a blog post version of this content so you can consume this content in whatever way is right for you. So how I set and achieve daily goals for miraculous business growth. I have been setting daily goals for a very long time, probably for about a decade now. And I see a lot of entrepreneurs, especially spiritual entrepreneurs, just winging it when it comes to deciding what tasks to do every day. And a lot of people just do what they feel like doing. But I couldn't do that because I'm a very organized person. I just couldn't live in such a disorganized way. I actually have an entire month's worth of goals mapped out a month in advance. So setting daily goals is easy for me because I've generally already decided what I'm focusing on a month in advance. And I do believe to a certain extent in taking inspired action, but usually inspired action fits within the monthly goals that I've already laid out and they work in accordance with my business model. My personal business model is based around creating and sharing content. So my daily goals include creating some kind of content and I have generally mapped out what I'm doing a month in advance. Now I only work 20 working days per month, round about 20, because I only work Monday to Friday, I don't work the weekends. So I don't work 30 days or 31 days, I work round about 20 days. And out of those 20 days, I spend five days a month on planning and reviewing type of work that helps me decide what to focus on. And during this time, I also plan out and outline a new product and create a sales page for it. And the other 15 days of the working month, I focus on creating content. So half of the time, half of the 15 days is spent creating free content for my blog, podcast and YouTube channel. And the other other half of the time is spent creating content for my paid products, such as my courses. So when I set my daily goals, all I'm doing really is reminding myself of what I have already decided to do in advance. Generally, I just set one big goal every day, which is normally to create one piece of content, but sometimes I am focused on something out of the norm. And if that's the case, I have more than one focus for the day. But I usually teach my clients to set six goals for the following day. And this might seem like a lot, but really all this is doing is helping them to get into a regular routine and stay focused on what is important to them. I also focus myself on six goals each day, but most of them are such an ingrained habit for me that I do them on autopilot. So I don't even need to remind myself to do them. I don't set them as a goal because they are simply just what I do. They are who I am. It's what I do. I couldn't not do them. And I call these routines success rituals and they are just a part of me and they just happen. But I ask my clients who are not used to working like this to focus on three main type of goals each day. And these are number one, growing goals. These are goals that focus on how you can grow as a person, an entrepreneur and a leader. And I do my growing goals during my morning and my evening routines every day. So I don't need to even set these as a goal on a, on a daily basis because I just do them. Otherwise, I'd just be Um, repeating myself over and over again, do your morning routine, do your morning routine, but I always do my morning routine. So there's no point in even writing that anymore. That's the purpose of a, a habit is you don't need to even remember to do it. You just do it. Number two, giving goals. Giving goals are focused around what you are going to sell. And as half of my month is spent on giving goals, this is one of my daily goals each day during that time. And number three, gratitude goals. These are goals that focus on 
what you want to gratefully receive into your business. There are two ways to work, to work towards gratitude goals. The first way is that I do manifestation practices on a daily basis that helps me to be in alignment with money and clients that I wish to attract into my business. And the second way is that I take daily action to put my message out there in the form of free content and sales pages to help my client get value and have the option of taking the next step, which is to buy my products. So these are the three types of goals that I ask my clients to focus on every day. And if you are new to business or new to working in a dis disciplined way, I think it's helpful to set these three goals on a daily basis every single day. Then when you start to get more familiar with the type of work that you want to do, you can start to batch process your tasks just like I do and focus on say all of your giving goals at once and then all of your gratitude goals during another time which will save you time in the long run. In order to successfully batch process your work, you have to be ultra organized and schedule your free content and your social media updates well in advance. And if you're not quite at that level, I suggest focusing on all three goals every day. So why did I mention six goals a little while ago? That is because there are two different ways that you can focus on these three G goals. The first way is to perform success rituals. The best way to get your 3G goals done is to put them inside a container called a success ritual. You can then timestamp your day and focus on one success ritual after another. And when you get into regular habits like this, achieving your goals becomes inevitable because you've programmed success habits all the way through your day and you've left no time for procrastination. The other type of focus for your daily goals is tons tasks. Tons stands for today's one next step and it means a task that is a one-off or part of a one-off project that is needed in order to reach your goals and I generally have a success ritual called admin. This is my admin block of time and during that time slot I do any of these tons tasks that might be necessary. To be honest I like to outsource a lot of these tasks because I know what I love to do myself and that is to create content so I focus most of my time on that type of activity. All of the goals that I set each day are specifically designed to grow my business. For my particular business model, if I'm not creating content, I'm probably not growing in the way that I want to. So now you know how I set my daily goals for success, I'm going to share with you how I physically set my daily goals when I set my goals. So here are the tools that I use to set daily goals. I generally set my daily goals in the evening for the following day. I like for my subconscious mind to understand how I'd like the following day to pan out so that I can make it a reality. And I know that sleep is a great way to help the subconscious mind lock in new beliefs. So that's why I like to do it before I go to bed. Also, if I wake up and I don't know what I'm doing that day, I immediately feel flustered and unorganized. And those are not feelings that I associate with success. So reminding myself on my daily goals the night before is essential. So I wake up feeling on top of things. I write my daily goals for the next day in my journal. I use my own journal called my daily stamp journal and this is a journal that I specifically designed for business owners and there are nine sections in that journal and one of the sections focuses on the six daily goals that I call stamp six. I give this journal away free as a bonus for purchasing one of the following products. My stamp goals book and my business manifestation toolkit. In my business manifestation toolkit, I grow into great detail into all of my morning, my evening, my workday and my monthly routines that help me to manifest business success. One of my biggest secrets to success is to set up regular routines that I call success rituals. 
for performing manifestation techniques that I use to manifest business success. And a lot of people ask me how to set up success rituals for business manifestation that don't end up being overwhelming or taking up too much time. So I have created a business manifestation toolkit where I share all of the tools that you need for manifesting business success. And these tools easily slot into your morning, your evening and your monthly routines and your working day because we can't manifest business success unless we are actually taking action and working on our businesses. And this easy to use toolkit includes all of the tools, techniques and routines that I use to consistently manifest success into my business. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. Make sure that you don't miss my next podcast episode and my next blog post by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success. I can also give you an email update when my next piece of content has arrived and I give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers. You can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts such as my free Manifestation Milestones board pack. This pack is the ultimate motivator to help you manifest more business success. From this one pack, you can create both a vision board and an achievement board to help you feel good about what you've already achieved and manifest even more. This Manifestation Milestones board printable pack will help you recognize and celebrate all of the amazing milestones and goals that you are achieving in your business, which is so exciting. And I also have a full video showing you exactly what it looks like and how to make the boards. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.